When most people hear about Bitcoin, they question how one digital internet coin can be worth $100,000, but they fail to recognize what is actually bought with $100,000. Values in Bitcoin are something called 64-bit integers, where one coin is represented within Bitcoin Core, the Bitcoin software, as 100 million units. Even Satoshi suggested that over time, it might get easier to change where the decimal point is displayed. So if you had one Bitcoin, it's now displayed as 1000 and 0.001 is displayed as one. Satoshi didn't suggest we can name these smaller units something else. He just suggested we call it Bitcoin. Similar to a stock split, the smallest unit is still called a share of Apple, Amazon, or another company. But previous shareholders might receive two shares for one, eight shares for one, or even more. In Bitcoin's case, the split is already complete in the code. In fact, there have always been 100 million units for what the community referred to as one Bitcoin. Now that Bitcoin adoption is growing out of its infancy stage, maybe it's time to be more transparent about how there are actually 100 million native units in what we've called Bitcoin. So one Bitcoin really equals 100 million Bitcoin. Like, actually, that's what one Bitcoin internally is represented as. If you hold $50,000 worth of Bitcoin, you have a ledger entry on an immutable Bitcoin blockchain saying your key controls 50 million units. So how can you buy 21 million Bitcoin? It's $21,000 today. And $21,000 today is not a bad deal for buying a significant share of the world's best money before 99% of humanity recognizes it. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.